Palmerston United have warmed to the task here. Garuccio. And that could have gone anywhere from Yerman, sliced out for a corner. That really clever ball there from Ben Garuccio. Because Borges Rodriguez has been the main attacking outlet here for MacArthur, and he's away. Borges Rodriguez, the cutback's on. He goes himself. And the referee is pointing to the penalty spot for the late contact. Kane Vidmar picks up a yellow card. Germain from the penalty spot. And Valer Germain puts MacArthur into a 1-0 lead and becomes the first player to score an A-League men's goal at the regional football facility in Tarnit. Davila and now Lewis. Borges Rodriguez has really come to play today. Risden trying to halt his progress into the box. Lewis blasts a left-footed cross, headed back. And now the chance for Davila! Two for MacArthur! And Uli Davila celebrates extending his stay with MacArthur by scoring at the weekend. MacArthur sitting deep in defence. Risden saw the run of Thurgate. Really good run from Thurgate. And dealt with it at the near post by Yerman before the goalkeeper had to get involved. Borges Rodriguez can't escape on the counter, though. Textbook tackle from Risden. Pena in the pocket. Shooting from Pena range. And it goes just wide. Oh, that wasn't far off. Looks to the heavens, Daniel Pena. We certainly know he can shoot from that kind of range. Has that ability, and MacArthur almost gave Western United another chance here, another bite at the cherry. And that's a move we've seen a few times this season from Western United. The drive inside and then the run. Here's Wales, streaming into the box. Denzaki! Well, to my eye, from the angle of the strike, I don't think he's blocking the vision of Curdo. Oh, Chris Griffiths Jones disagrees. He's now stringing together consistent games for really the first time since arriving at the club. Here's Garuccio, Western United, not to be denied. Denzaki! And where it was offside in the first half, Riku Denzaki is able to put his name in the record books as Western United's first player to score in Tarnit. John Aloisi and the Western United bench and the fans behind us all saw the same replays that you did. And Aloisi's point was, as we stay with play, here's Roos. Will it fall? Western United are level. Or are they? Or are they? The goal stands. Michael Roos says, how do you like me now? 2-2 in turn eight, and Western United, in the blink of an eye, have erased the half-time deficit here. Barely cameos as a sub. And he's right back into the thick of it here. Thurgates. Garuccio. Seeing a bit of development on field here as well. Long shot. Garuccio off the underside of the crossbar. Still on the attack. Donerke. Crossbar again. Roos. Roos. Western United are irresistible. Tarnit was worth the wait, people. Michael Roos has a double. And Western United. Lays it back, Germain, Rose, clever pass, Drew, and denied, blocked away. Davila nearly had the final say. Couldn't add to his tally from the first half. The one goal for him this afternoon. Well, this is a better build-up from MacArthur, a little more reminiscent of the first half we saw in their play. Western United do do enough on that occasion and just see out these final seconds. Well, I can't believe it. It didn't catch a deflection at all. Out for a goal kick, just a, a total miss. And that might just about do it. Home sweet home for Western United. The green and black salute in Tarnit on a day where everyone who went 
will remember it for as long as they are a football fan. Relief for John Aloisi on the sideline. Toodle down at halftime. Daniel Pena injured in the first half. 15 of the finest minutes of Western United's young history, including the grand final, turned this game on its head. One of the most entertaining and action-packed matches you could hope to see. Michael Roos, for the second time in his career, came up with a double. And Josh Risden, one of a number of Western United players who refused to be beaten, overcoming that deficit today and producing the full-time score of Western United 4, MacArthur 2.